and welcome back to our channel. So today let's discuss about how to create vendor in Odo 14 community. So you know uh, that we have a module contacts that manages all the contacts. So uh, we can create, you can see the created contacts uh, from here. And this can be filtered as uh, companies, individuals, and we can see customer invoices and vendor, vendor bills. That is, that is, we can see customer contacts or vendor contacts. So when you go to purchase module and uh, there we can find a menu in order to create vendors directly. So um, when you click on vendors menu, you can see that option to create vendors. So you can see it is by default filtered by vendor bills. So you can just click create. And here we can provide the name of the vendor. So it can be that is we can create a vendor as a company or individual. So here we can provide the name and company address you can provide street name, city, country, state. Uh, can provide the city name can select the state so you can see the country then GST treatment is filled then here we can provide tax identification number if this contact is subjected to government tax so this can be used in legal statements and here we can provide contact details like phone mobile email ID website link tags uh, can be given Then here it is possible to add contacts and addresses. So when you click on this, here we can provide contact name. And uh, so this one is other address. You can see contact address, invoice address, delivery address, other address, private address. So we can set all these things, informations and can save. So in this way, we can add multiple contacts and addresses here. And we can see tab that is to manage sales and purchase of this uh, vendor. So here we can provide uh, information related to sales that is related salesperson delivery method. Uh, so by default for this vendor, this delivery method will be applied and we can set payment terms, price list. Then for purchase also, we can set information like payment terms, uh, receipt reminder, which is a new option in order 14. So automatically we can send confirmation email to vendor some days before the expected receipt date asking you to confirm the exact date so value set here are company specific then here we can set fiscal position for tax mapping or account mapping okay then here we can set some information related to that is miscellaneous information that is reference company name website industry then here we have a tab that is to manage invoicing of this vendor here we can provide bank account details account number uh, bank then here we can provide internal notes so here we can set it's possible to set warning on sale order we can block or warn this vendor and can save it so you can see the number of opportunities created for this vendor then the meetings planned then the total sales then the total number of purchases then here when you click on this on time rate, we can see on time delivery for this vendor. And we can see the total amount invoiced. Total number of total vendor bills can be viewed. Okay, so when you come back, you can see that employee that vendor is created. So you can see the uh, few details here. And it is also possible to schedule activity from here. So when you click on schedule activity and we can you schedule it, you can see uh, that activity is added here. So for this vendor, we can also see a list view and it is possible to group it according to salesperson, company or country. So you can see country. And when you create a sale order quotation, so when you, uh, sorry, purchase order or request quotation, here we can see option to add vendor. So we can add the vendor name and can the GST treatment, everything is filled here. Okay, so that's all about creating vendor in Odo 40 community. 